Hello. Uh, we're going to be going on live in about at 8 p.m. I mean, we are live. We're just going to begin the show at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, we got 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. Uh, copyrighted 2023, May 5th, 12th. E.CLIO writes through. Um, this is Professor Benjamin Washington. And uh, we will begin our show at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is now nine minutes till 8 p.m. And I'm just reviewing my my, um, my script here. We have a beginning, which, which we do the uh, Philo first in, last out. We begin with the uh, our intro with the uh, the Lord's Prayer because we're entering the what you call the single entrance of the East Gate. We say a prayer and then we uh, say the uh, national anthem 2.0, which is a uh, concatenation of the Star Spangled Banner with the uh, Constitution preamble at the top of the lyrics. And then we do our show, the beginning, middle, and end. And after that, we do an outro, which is, we say the, again, the National Anthem 2.0, which is a concatenation of We The People preamble, uh, sung before the lyrics, we the people sung before the Star Spangled Banner lyrics and so that's complete national anthem to you know and then we close with the Lord's the prayer well at this time we're using the Lord's Prayer which is on Matthew chapter 6 but it's a spiritual prayer again it's a spirited prayer because uh, we're entering the east gate okay the east gate of the circle so imagine a circle and on the east side right on the east side is the, the gate there is only one entrance to the circle and one exit okay so there's that's the only way into the circle and out of the circle but you have to say the the the, the intro prayer into the circle and the outro prayer of the circle you can't say the National Anthem 2.0 and then say the prayer. No, you have to say the prayer first coming in. And then you have to say when you want to go out, you have to say the National Anthem 2.0 and the prayer. Okay, that's the sequence. It's called first in, last out. Right, Philo. So that's the rule of the circle in a spiritual domain. Okay, it's a spiritual martial arts. Okay, uh, we are in a spiritual battle. Today, present time, 2023, we are trying to achieve uh, goodness so that we can obtain by 2127 um, heaven on earth. And the prayer, uh, Matthew chapter 6, is the Lord's Prayer. I'm sure you've heard of it. Okay, so I'm just giving you a background that thy kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that's the duty of Professor Benjamin Washington and all the other characters that East East Elway has created, right? We have Camaro, we have Chief Stanislaus or Chief Kukunach. Chief Lapu 007, Stanley Jack Kowalski, Stan Ophir Kukunach. All right, so these are cre created characters on social media. That's the beauty of uh, social me media. I'm using uh, four uh, devices. Uh, camera number one under email is an Instagram Live. Camera number two under Chief Kukunach, Instagram Live. 
Camera number three is Ophir, Camaro, Breeze, Facebook Live, and camera number four is Stanislaus, Ophir, Knudge. All right? Camera one, camera two, camera three, camera four. All right? Instagram, these two are Instagram. These two are Facebook Live. All right. So, uh, recapping our Friday Reds last week, uh, Cinco de Mayo Friday. Um, we're just going to continue on to our uh, conversation as we push for women, women's rights. Uh, women's uh, the, the role in uh, you know laborers rights women Do, uh, Dolores Huerta is the female activist for the uh, Chicanos in the 60s Chicano 60s 70s right and uh, her legacy needs to be uh, you know the baton needs to be passed on to other Chicanos Unfortunately, new Mexicans that come to the U.S., like in the 80s, they promote the Mexican stuff in Mexico. Um, no, Chicanos in America are, are not just the Mexicans. The Chicano means Filipinos and Mexicans. So it's a multicultural, and it's not just Mexicans on the Spanish-speaking uh, communities in the United States. There are a lot of Spanish speaking communities in the United States and and it's not just Mexicans. You have Spanish that are straight out from Spain and you have uh, Central American Spanish. So, you know, you got El Salvadorian, Guatemalan, Honduran, Costa Rican and and, and uh, many, many uh, Conquist, con, uh, what do you call it? But in the uh, United States, the Spanish speakers are called Latino. And the problem with the Latino is that the Chicano culture regarding American Cinco de Mayo uh, has been uh, polluted. You know, it has been uh, not celebrated properly and not been uh, memorized or remembered. So I'm just recapping the Cinco de Mayo, the American Cinco de Mayo uh, celebrates uh, Virgen de Guadalupe of Wisconsin. Uh, there is a church there in, in Wisconsin called Virgen de Guadalupe, uh, ba basically celebrating the indigenous woman that uh, appeared to uh, St. Juan Diego, uh, okay, the Catholic Church, all right? I just wanted to recap last week's uh, Friday Reds, and we can begin now with today's All right, it's eight o'clock, so yeah, rewind, rewind, uh, and you can replay all these past clips. Mm, I dropped something. Or no, my, my guitar fell apart. <laughs> well, we're working on this guitar. This guitar is still uh, under construction. Yeah, the thing came off. This piece came off, so I gotta I, I gotta work on my guitar. I'm working on uh, new pickups on it. But let's begin. We begin with the Lord's Prayer. kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven mm -hmm. 
give us this day our daily bread and forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now forever. Amen. Yeah, so uh, I got the guitar strap. It's kind of, now it's loose because of the, uh, the thing that came off. This piece, the electronic part. You see it. Uh, all right, but we'll work on that. We'll, we'll improve it next week. All right, so the Philo, we begin. We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union establish justice in true domestic tranquility provide for the common defense promote the general welfare Secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this constitution for the United. United States of America. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hate? At the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare. The bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Yeah, see the American flag right up here. It's right up there. American flag, yeah. And of course, the strap. All right, so this is Professor Benjamin Washington. Uh, let me put down my guitar here. Professor Benjamin Washington. Welcome to Friday Reds. And we talked about women's rights last week. And we're still talking about women's rights this week. Um, 
present time, they made a decision that E. Jean Carroll, Sweet Caroline, Billy E. Jean, Sweet Caroline, E. Jean, Sweet Caroline. Sorry, Trump. You just been sued five million bucks. I'm not a Trumper. I'm not a Biden, but I'm a, an American, and I'm for a better politics, better politicians. But when a woman like E. Jean Carroll, sweet Caroline, E. Jean, not my love, E. Jean. All right, I'm just joking. All right, Professor Benjamin Washington. Uh, Republicans, oh, bad, 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 bad. They're like the classic past businessmen of the United States of America. As I mentioned, when uh, the game Monopoly was created, invented, these businessmen named the Parker Brothers, uh, that profit, profit-minded businessmen, they stole the invention and the invention was made by a woman. How dare there are very, I mean, that's why 2023, you, we got to look up at women and, and their wisdom. They are the mothers. They are the care, you know, they're the producers of children. You know, they're the pro, they're the only ones that can procreate, not a man. A man can never put out a baby. All right. A biological man. He can try to be a transgender female. He will never pro procreate. So the women, all right, that's why so many men are so jealous of uh, women because they want to be a woman. That's, that's the wisdom. Think about it. A lot of men want to be a woman, right? Transgender or LGBTQ men they want to be women. And and the LGBTQ women, they want to just be a strong women. At least I know. Well, except uh, Cher's son. Cher's son was a female. Chaz. All right, so all I can say is... Um, 2023, we need a female political president, USA president. I mean, there's a vice president, Kamala Harris, but I rarely see her in in uh, in her arena. She needs to be a little bit. I mean, I'm saying she needs a penis, but no, she doesn't need a penis. She needs a uh, political. Uh, motivation um, maybe they they extend they want to well, politically maybe they want Biden to win on the next term so that if anything happens to him by default Kamala becomes becomes the first president but E.G. Sweet Caroline is not my lover, E. Jean, sweet Caroline, E. Jean Carroll. Oh, wow, she won a verdict in front of juries, right? So there has to be something there, right? All right, I believe um, Republican Democrats, those political men, I mean, I'm just looking at our local situation here in San Salas County, Modesto, and um, we need more uh, leading ladies, Le uh, city government, local city government. But yeah, this weekend, Sunday is Mother's Day, and this month, this whole month, spiritually, it's... Yosha, Jesus' mom, Mother Mary, this whole month, beginning with Cinco, the 5th of May, 
That's the Catholic Church. And then May 28th is the 50th day, Pentecost. Right? It falls in this month as well. So May is an important month of 2023. And Pentecost is uh, tongues of fire. Tongues light of fire. That's uh, according to the Acts, the book of Acts. According to the book of Acts of the Apostles. All right. Tongues. Light of fire. All right. Tongues of fire. That's my second album or our emails, emails album. Um, that's uh, this month. So this Sunday is Mother's Day. I, 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 I hope everybody loves her mom because I definitely have been taking care of my mom since 2014. I've been accompanying her here. I kind of like, you know, I've been doing a lot of research here locally in San Luis County. Here alone, you know, touch the Mission Indians, Alta California, Junipero Sierra, Chief San Luis, or this county was named after a Yakuts chief named Kukunach. And so, there's a lot of things I've done here locally while I'm watching, accompanying my little mom. But there was a situation that early this year or the years before, I just raised my hand. I said, hey, sis, siblings, I need help. Somebody's got to take over. Oh, my, uh, let's see, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, it's my 10th year here in Stanislaus County. 10 years I've been absent from Hollywood. I put aside my project, but I'm glad that Ki Hui Kwan won an award representing the Asian man and uh, you know, the little brown man, we still need to represent the little Mexican Indio, the little brown Indio, little Manuel Padilla Jr. And uh, hopefully we'll do that next month, June. June is Father's Day. We, we celebrate the little brown men. Like my dad, we're, you know, 5.0 something, 5.0 something, um, under 5.7. Right. Those are the brown men. At least those are the black negrito uh, DNA. You know, the aetas. Aetas and negritos. The black pygmies. That's that's a term that was used during the uh, Manila slave trade. They were all brought to Mexico City. The black negroids taken from Papua New Guinea, uh, the black people in the Philippines. They were taken as slaves and brought to Tenochtitlan, Mexico City, when Hernan Cortez and uh, Magellan and uh, Andres Ordeneta, to and from, they were bringing to and from in the 1540s when Virgen de Guadalupe operation occurred. Um, she instructed to build churches all the way to the Philippines. They call it Philippines. It was called uh, Ophir before. Biblical Ophir, son of Yoktan. Brother of Sheba. According to Genesis 10.25. Okay, this is Professor Benjamin Washington. I've been researching who the little brown men are, who are these little tiny Mexicans that in the 1900s when the film industry during the silent film era, little Mexican, little Filipinos, they were cast as extras in those movies and you can still watch and see them in the black and the whites. You know, way before the talkies, there were 
films that were made and there were a lot of Filipinos in, in Los Angeles already. If you research your history, that's what being a professor is. You have to do your homework. You got to do your research in history because when Mexicans are fla uh, raising their flags on Cinco de Mayo and celebrating an event that occurred in Mexico, not in the U.S., something's wrong. They totally missed out Larry Leon and Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta. Something's wrong. Somebody's, you know, making even uh, Emiliano Zapata's enemies. They're promoting the enemy of the one that killed Zapata or fought Pancho Villa and Emiliano Zapata. Somebody's promoting President Diaz. He was against Zapata and Pancho Villa. So something's wrong with the Mexican community. They've been, again, they've been, uh, again, conquistadors are still uh, banging their brains. They don't know anything about the American history of the USA history of Cinco de Mayo, the Chicano's point of view of the strikes in Delano, California, USA. All right. Hello. Yeah. So who you have here? Bear of Pity. Hey, what's up? Bear of Pity. Welcome. And hopefully you can get, get ed educated with uh, Professor Benjamin Washington here. And we're just trying to talk about Cinco de Mayo, 5th of May. And the uh, event that occurred in the 60s with Larry et Leon, Filipinos in Delano, California. They asked a Texan from Texas named Cesar Chavez to come to California and help out the Filipinos in the grape fields of Delano, California in the 1960s. And by 1970s, the Chicanos won. Chicanos is is comprised of Mexicans and Filipinos. Filipinos and Mexicans and other ethnic groups in the Bay Area, San Jose, in Delano, California, in the Central Valley. Because the workers out in the fields have been Asians and Mexicans. Today it's the Hmong community, the Lao, the Hmong. Uh, there's still Filipinos out in the fields, but majority are Mexicans, the same thing. But, you know, Chicanos, descendants like myself, we, you know, we have to do the, the, we have to tell these people, why are you just raising the Mexican flag on Cinco de Mayo and celebrate a, a Mexican event? No, this is an Amer USA event in Delano, California. That's what we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo. That's what it's about. But... Los Mexicanos no aprender la historia de Estados Unidos, the story of the United States. Hey, what's up, Native Roots? Again, USA history, the Chicanos in San Jose and in Delano, California, consist of Filipinos and Mexicans. And that's what Cinco de Mayo is all about. All right. The, the descendants of Utu Aztecans, Mexicans and Filipinos, they are the descendants, they are the servants of Utu Aztecans that were uh, servants to the Catholic Church, like St. Juan Diego. Okay, he wore, all the Indians wore white uniforms. That's a Filipino uniform. Okay, all the Indians, because when the, the Cortes disarmed all the Aztecs, Cortes, and rebuilt Tenochtitlan and called it Mexico City. He needed slave labor. And he pulled all the blacks from the Philippines and, and Papua New Guinea, Indonesia. All those black people that were there, they put them in slave ships called Manila Galleon. Okay? The Manila Galleon that were like ships by Ordeneta. Andres Ordeneta. Look them up. Google. I'm not shitting you. I'm telling you the truth that this occurred in the 1520s, 40s, or oh, 1600s. Then, uh, you know, the, the, the black slave trade in Manila was first, way before West African slave trade. 
in the 1492-1500s, Europe was wanting slaves from Central America, Mexico. And then by 1600s, the 13 colonies, Virginians on the south, they wanted slaves. And the slaves that were getting from what well, was shipped to Haiti and to Europe also was rerouted to Florida and, and uh, further north because Florida was a Spanish territory. Cabeza de Baca, I mean, there's, there were uh, conquistadors in that part, Florida. And then dark-skinned Indians, all the dark-skinned people they were all called black when the U.S. in the 1700s. Ain't that a bummer that people are changing history? But what is written in the library and what is written in our hearts and mind that we know in the 60s, Cesar Chavez was from Texas. He was invited to come to California. And the Mexicans just gave him the credit only Cesar Chavez. So you get all these libraries and schools and named after Cesar Chavez. They excluded the Filipino Larry Etleong until President Obama came on board. The 44th president recognized, finally recognized that the Filipinos in Delano, California began the great strike, Huelga, and started the United Farm Labor Union with Cesar Chavez when he came over from Texas to California. All right, this is Professor Benjamin Washington. And Dolores Huerta and other Filipino women, they were there, but they weren't recognized until, you know, because it was dominated by Spanish-speaking Mexicans. And the Philippines was already a U.S. territory in 1899 and they were forced to stop speaking Spanish. All right? In 1899, USA acquired the Philippines and forced the, the Philippines to not speak Spanish no more. They tried to erase everything that whatever Mexico or Cortez did to the Philippines, renamed it Philippines, called it, uh, you know, and made people follow the exact Mexican culture in the Philippines is exactly the same in Mexico. But USA came in in 1899. But you know what they did during the eugenics, ethnic cleansing, they cut off the Philippines, gave them uh, independence, but they know that blacks from the Philippines, if they were you know, passport, passport free, they would come to the U.S. and still, no matter how much they sterilize dark-skinned women, native women, dark-skinned dark women, no matter how much the eugenics scientists did, you know, Philippine, if Philippines wasn't cut off, it, you know, it would still be populated by Filipinos, USA. In fact, a lot of the descendants you might say a lot of these white actors are, are white, but they have Filipino blood, you know. And most of Hollywood's favored actors that are white looking are of Filipino descent. Because Philippines is a, is a negrito, the black people, Maharlika, Maharlika, the Eetas of the Philippines. That was the first kingdom in that area, the Maharlikans. The kingdom of black people, Austronesians, the Australia, uh, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Philippines, those are all those are all black people before. There were no yellow people before. The yellow people from the north, the Mongoloids, the Mongolians, they came in and started interracially uh, having children. But Land of creation was black. Land, you know, Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve were dark skin. You know, 
the color of the dirt. Adam and Eve was created from dirt, soil. Well, Eve was not. She was created from Adam's rib, but Adam was created from soil. And guess what the color of soil in the land of creation is? It's red. It's red dirt. So it's a red man, a dark-skinned red man. No, I'm, and in, in America's, the indigenous blacks or indigenous dark skin, when, when by 1700s, when they, they, they started segregating whites and blacks, because that's a, a USA invented segregation, black and white. So the dark skin Indians, the indigenous in that area of the 13 colonies, they made them all came from Africa. They said, oh, all these are black. They all came from Africa, even though they're indigenous, dark-skinned people. And they also came from Europe. The dark-skinned people also came from Europe to Americas in the 1800s, 1700s. But no, they said every dark skin is from Africa. And so today you got these... African Americans thinking they're all from Africa. All I can say is, as a professor, you gotta do your homework. Uh, I have two sources of information, aside from the Santa Claus Public Library and the uh, Los Angeles uh, Public Library on Fifth Avenue. Fifth. There are two YouTube channels, or, or there are on YouTube and website. Uh, the God Culture, that's a YouTube, and thegodculture.com. And then they have the ophirinstitute.com. And then uh, another person is Corremeo Ahau. It's a YouTube person, but he has other uh, sites, and he has other supporters of their, their research in the books. You know, you read these books, and the information and you sum it up, they were trying, they were hiding the, the history of the Negritos, the, especially here in the California West Coast side. Because Califia is a black lady. She was on a black Amazon. Califia, Queen Califia, California. All right? I'm just saying, indigenous people, Austronesians, black people, the Olmecs, and so trying to tell the story of the Chicanos in San Jose, it's a combination of Filipinos and Mexicans. Please tell these Mexican new immigrants that came after 1970s, 19, you know, they came after 1970s, they started promoting their Mexican beer and promoting straight out from Mexico. But no, Chicano culture is a combination of not just Mexicans, but other people of color in California. All right, Delano, California, that's where the Huelga grape strike began, and it started by Filipino Americans. These are World War II veterans. These Filipino Americans, the only kind of job they can get these Indios, Uto Aztecan descendants, was out in the fields, working at asparagus fields, or uh, picking pears, picking uh, oranges, grapes. That's all the jobs that, that the white man could give, the white employers. I mean, there were other nursing, but either you're either a janitor or, you know, janitor, a hard laborer, and not a professor. Although they've been educated, have a doctor's degree, they wouldn't let Filipino doctors operate on white patients. Can you believe that? You know, that's segregation. And so reparation, it's, it's not just black Africans, it's black Filipinos, you know? Because they got treated the same way as the blacks, you know, like 
drinking fountain, they couldn't drink in the white man's fountain. Filipinos had to drink from the black man's fountain. This was before before 1900s and after 1900s. Filipinos have been in the before the United States ever became a United States. Filipinos have already been here and indigenous here or have been migrating to and from since the 1500s. But if this California reparations excludes Filipino blacks, something's wrong here, Denmark. You've been spoiling the African blacks. You've been spoiling the African Negroes. 40 acres and a mule. But all I can say is, as a professor, Benjamin Washington, we have to empower the people in the 1870s that were able to vote. Okay, 1870, people of color, black men, black Filipinos, black Africans, you know, that were already here in Alta California, Filipinas, Mexico, that became a stolen land in the 1840s by USA, the United States stole everything. And then the first governor of California, Governor Burnett, decimated, just genocide all the Indios, indigenous people here, the Yukuts, the Miwoks, the Ohlone, the Chumas, the Tongva, all the Indian tribes of California, all the way down to Mexico, that U.S. acquired, stole their land. They call it Manifest Den Destiny. And they made indigenous people like us, Indians, Filipinos, Mexicans, that are not for Cortez, not for Diaz, but for Zapata and for Montezuma. Put a white uniform and enslaved us. And then when they were raiding Apache tribes, Navajo tribes, when the Mexicans were raiding the Apache, you know, the Cortez Mexicans, I got to tell you the difference. The Cortez Mexicans and the uh, Zapata Mexicans are totally different. The Zapata Mexicans are indigenous Indians. They're Utu Aztecans, right? The Filipinos are Zapata, Zapata Mexicans, all right? And then the Zapata Mexicans. But the Diaz Mexicans or the Cortez Mexicans, those are Antonio Banderas type, white Mexicans. Okay? So, 1900s, if, if that's the cutoff for slaves, descendants of the blacks in Africa only, you're excluding the blacks from Manila. Something's wrong here, California. And, and if you're going to make our children, black Filipinos and black other non-Africans, if, if you're going to make them pay for the reparations and tax and not the white rich people, something's not right there about that reparation, right? You better consider the black Filipinos, the black Mexicans. All right, that's the politics, all right? I know what you did to my fathers and my forefathers, right? God is saying, repent, you know, repent, stop that shit, stop that shit, Harvey Weinstein, stop that corrupt corporation, stop that lies, fraud, because E. Jean Carroll spoke up and we need more women, white women, that have been preyed on and taken advantage of by their own men, men types. And then they deny, they denied black men to vote until 1870, the 15th Amendment. Can you believe that? White 
America, white men, white politicians, white businessmen would not let people of color vote until 1870. And they still call the Indians savages, animals. Hey, what's up, Fred? I'm just saying that enough is enough. This is social media, AI, artificial intelligence, 2023. Don't lie no more, white businessman. Don't lie anymore, black businessman. Don't lie, corporate America businessman. You've been merging, laying off, and outsourcing jobs since 1987. I recall 1987 when, oh, opportunity to uh, bring the company to Puerto Rico or bring company to Asia so that the manufacturing plants, it would be cheaper and the products would be reliable and it would be cheaper to have manufactured there in Puerto Rico or, or oh, it's still the U.S. or uh, manufacture in, you know, China or Taiwan. That was what they did, the Silicon Valley businessmen. I know because I know the executives of, of AMD and their decision makers. And then, you know, I know because my mom worked for Fairchild and then AMD, National Semiconductor. My mom worked for all those uh, companies that laid off and merger laid off. You know, they were ruthless on workers in, in the Silicon Valley when they outsourced these jobs. You know, enough is enough. Don't be a liar, man, you liar. You know who you are, businessman. You know, yeah, you create jobs, but don't lay off and jerk around your employees. That's why Cesar Chavez and Larry and Long, they were being jerked around, at least Larry, the Filipinos in Delano, California, they were being jerked around in the grape uh, business, you know, in the wine business, whatever the derivatives of the grape in Delano, California. I mean, can you imagine you didn't have any por portable, you know, restrooms? They had to take a shit and take a pee all out in the field. They didn't have portables or restrooms. So people had to complain, like Larry and Leong, Filipino Cruz, Filipinos first complain. But then they tried, you know, when, when, Cesar Chavez in, you know, in, the, in San Jose, they celebrated their win because I believe the court, the the judge, was the judgment was in in the courts of city of San Jose, when the labor rights affected to all businesses to provide a break room, a break room, a break restroom. That was the law, because of uh, Larry Leong and Cesar Chavez a Filipino and a Mexican, a Chicanos. But today, they erased all that. They erased all that. And, you know, the evil forces for the Mexican Cortez Mexicans, you know, the Diaz Mexicans, they totally shun off their brother, Filipino brothers, that have been, you know, denied the information until Barack Obama became president and recognized the World War II Filipino veterans that fought in World War II and also Larry Leong of Delano, California. Can you imagine it took Barack Obama, the 44th president, to recognize Filipinos? And it's still today, Cinco de Mayo, here in San Luis County, only Mexicans are waving the Mexican flag on Cinco de Mayo, thinking it's a celebration in Mexico, but no, it's a California celebration in Delano, California and San Jose that the labor rights were won. We are human beings. And so in the 1870, 15th Amendment, that's the USA law, this is the US Constitution. People of color, black men especially, could vote. 
And the same thing in 1879, 1879 to 18, or eight, from 1877, 1879, a man in Chief Standing Bear of the Omaha, Nebraska tribe said, we are not animals. We are human beings. And he won that court as God sees us. Right? So he's now on a U.S. post office, I mean, a mail post stamp. Chief Standing Bear of the Omaha, Nebraska tribe. All right? So men were, were voting, colored men, finally in the 1870s. But guess what? The women, they couldn't vote until the 19th Amendment. Why? Why were the women not allowed to vote until the 19th Amendment? They're as equal as any man. The only difference is a woman was made from a rib of Adam. Adam was made from red dirt, from the land of creation, which is Maharlika, which is Ophir, which is the land of creation described by the King Solomon's return in the Bible, King Solomon's return, his navy went to get some materials from the land of creation. It took him three years. So the tip or the hint was on Genesis 10, 25, are the sons of Yoktan or Yucatan. And if you don't know who Yoktan was, Yoktan, he was the brother of Peleg, which is which is the branch of Abraham 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 was the father of that line of David to Jesus but Peleg's brother Pele you know God Peleg Peleg his brother was Yoktan Yucatan and so in the Yucatan I'm just saying you know white businessmen white Smithsonian's white uh, archaeologists they didn't want to believe that in Yucatan, Yucatan, there are many pyramids. There are many under the jungle, uh, like three, four years ago, LiDAR technology, you can scan the jungle and you can reveal all these bunch of pyramids and, and basically a a metropo metropolis of, of pyramids of of uh, Yucatex, Yucatan, Central America, you know. And so, as I also also did my research as Professor Benjamin Washington, I, I read scriptures and also uh, public library research. And all and those two uh, two uh, YouTubers uh, influencers. They, uh, you know, the books in in the public library, they are disclosing all these stuff, but they always want to shun the truth. But we know, and Yahusha, Yahua, he knows, and and guys like me, we're we're being inspired and told twenty twenty three and beyond. Look, American Idol now is showing the Hawaiian Kingdom. There's a Hawaiian dude singing. I am Tongi. He's pretty big, brother. But he's, uh, you know, like I said, Maharlikan, or the Hawaiian kingdom was part of Maharlika, Guam, and Ophir, which is now Mexicans call it, or the Spanish call it Philip, King Philip of Spain, Philippines. But it was not called, called Philippines before. It was called Ophir, Maharlika, or Mu, or Lemuria, Mu. And so, and that's the land of creation. That's where Adam was created. Like I said, back to the color of the skin. Adam was red skin because he comes from a red dirt, red soil. You know? And so... He was a colored man, but he was only allowed to vote in 1870 in the U.S. Constitution. ConstitutionUS.com, right? ConstitutionUS.com, you can see all the uh, 
27 amendments, right? If you know your First Amendment, Second Amendment, Third Amendment. But until the 15th Amendment, because, you know, 14, 15, you know, President Abraham Lincoln was making an effort so that he can win the war. So he established the 14th Amendment, which was he wanted all the black slaves from the South to join the North. So he did the Emancipation Proclamation, all right? And it's going to be celebrated next month. But all I can say is Abe Lincoln was assassinated April 1865. So 14th Amendment, 13th, 14th. And so the 15th Amendment, by the 15th Amendment, when uh, Ulysses East Grant, I believe, was the president, that was the time in votes, you know, or maybe it was the same time frame, but the vote, the black vote was, was needed so that a president, a political person is going to be selected. And then by, uh, like I said, 1961, when John F. Kennedy became a president, everything toggled. Whatever was, because whatever the, the, Republicans that were raising the Confederate flag, you know, the uh, Reconstruction people that denied after the Civil War, they used to be Republicans. Well, no, the, the North used to, okay. Abe Lincoln was Republican. He was, you know, that political group, Ulysses East Grant was Republican. They were helping the blacks and reconstruct the South and, you know, basically go to the South and repair all the damage and remove slavery. And all freed men were uh, given 40 acres and a mule. But then during Reconstruction, they accused the, the Northerners as carpetbaggers taking their property that after the war, it should have been still their property. But... But a general from the north said, hey, this land is now yours to the black people, 40, mu uh, 40 acres and mule. But then they they backed out and, and took it back. They they made the uh, plantation owner or landowners take it back. And so they got screwed. Those blacks that were claiming the, the, their land in, in, in the south. So political uh, maneuvering, they needed the votes for the black, black men, right? Not necessarily black from Africa, but black men from Mexico, black men from the indigenous black men, and black men from Manila. Because the Manila slave trade was way before the African slave trade. And there are proof. And there's black people, Papua New Guinea again, Biden just visited that. Papua New Guinea, there are still black people that were saved from slavery being taken from the Spanish galleons, Manila galleons brought to Mexico City. But all I can say is, I'm not impressed when African Americans, African blacks are just saying, Africa this, Africa that. I shake my head, Filipinos are black. They were treated black. They were segregated. Jim Crow raw. Uh, you know, today in the Philippines, there is more Asian, Mongoloidic, uh, like just like Taiwan. The Taiwan, the indigenous people of Taiwan were black. Taiwan was a black uh, little island. So that's how Maharlika was. Black people in 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 uh, in Pacific, they uh, they had chief that ran their uh, island. They didn't run as a whole setup the way the Spanish said, hey, this is our territory. You know, the way the Europeans, this is ours. You know, the Dutch, the, all the Europeans went over there and said, oh, this is our territory. We own this now. How can white men own indigenous peoples? You know, how can white men sell to another white man? This is my territory now. You know, like, in, like I said, 1899. The Treaty of Paris, Spain and USA. Oh, Philippines is now ours, USA said, ate the treaty. How can two white men own 
a non-white nation. Because that's, they said, oh, they want the war. They want the, yeah, because that, that's, you do war to steal other people's land. Stolen land. So we have to say, you know, God knows the truth. He does not sleep. But the politics now is the 19th Amendment. Why is it taking a long time for a USA female president? Because, like I said, women, white women, are being manipulated by their white male businessmen counterpart. White male businessmen stole the Hawaiian kingdom from a queen, right? So these businessmen, like recently Trump got by E. Jean Carroll, sweet Caroline. E. Jean, not my love. I'm just joking around here. But seriously, 19th Amendment was like in the 1910s, 1900s, mid-1900s. This the era of Al Capone, you know, Lucky Luciano, you know, uh, 1920s, 1930s. There were already Filipinos in the United States, everywhere, New York, Chicago, they survived. And before they were called Filipinos, they were called Lozon Indios. Before USA stole uh, lands in California and Arizona, and before USA took all that, Filipinos were called Lozon Indios. They were in, Google it, New Orleans. Uh, a city called St. Malo, New Orleans, you know, they were escaping slave ships. Slave ships that would take them from Veracruz, Gulf of Mexico, all the way up to Florida, all the way to Europe. Slave ships. When the black Africans reparation stuff is just going to be a black African black. I'm shaking my head here. Reparations should be all people of color that were already here. They were treated, they were segregated. Everybody was segregated. This is the white water fountain. This is the black water fountain or people of color. When a Filipino goes to drink and a white, he gets into trouble. When a Filipino doctor, Lozoni, an Indian goes to the heal someone, a white wo a woman or a white person, he gets into trouble. That's the Jim Crow rule. And it suffered housing, you know. But in Hollywood, the little brown man, little Manuel Padilla Jr., Ernie Reyes Jr., the little, little black Negrito, the, the descendants of pygmies, the pygmy man, the black, little black man that have a little bit of mongoloid or a little bit of Caucasian, but the little Megrito, pygmy, Hollywood, do you see one? Have you seen one on win an Oscar? Have they recognized Caesar, uh, Chavez and Larry at Leong in, in, have they produced a movie that's truthful? about Filipino and Mexican together. They segregated. When they did Cesar Chavez, they they put a little, no no story about it, about the, the beginning of the, the complaint of the abuse. But anyways, that's the way Hollywood, they tell fictitious for profit. Hollywood, Hollywood is a, uh, it's not a, a, a USA, it's for profit. It tries to, to, to tell a uh, nonfiction and makes it fictionalizing it so that they say it's dramatized and it can win. You know, uh, Roots is fiction and that's what's messed up a lot of the black Americans. Roots is a fiction story. It's not true. It's fiction. Oh. Because they left out the Manila Galleon. 
the slave trade by Port Portuguese and Spanish, the descendants of the Roman Empire. You know, the Roman Empire enslaved whoever they conquered, whoever they... Uh, but that's how Mexico was. I was talking about Mexico conquering, raiding uh, the Apache tribes, uh, the Navajo nation, the, all the Indian tribes adjacent to Mexico. All right, so politics, we have to straighten it out. 19th Amendment, it is time for women. It is time for Mother Mary and, and the women of the scripture because men modified the Bible. You hear that, Fred? Men, men favored, favored the Bible to be for men, to be the leaders. And so they've always favored the story of men in the scripture. But I believe in the book of wisdom, God is woman. Well, God is God. But all I'm saying is the female, feminist and the, you know, the gender, the, in, in the, the angels and above, they have no gender. Okay? They can pick and choose. But the gender was invented after the Garden of Eden, in the Garden of Eden, when Eve disobeyed first. Eve disobeyed God first and then pulled Adam to disobey. And so their punishment was at the East Gate, they were guarded out by a, an angel, uh, arc, uh, cherub at the east gate with a flaming sword. And when that happened, uh, Eve was punished to be the womb. So a vagina and a, a womb was created to the woman. That's after the disobedience and after they exited out of the garden of Eden. Because the woman disobeyed first. That's, it, that's in Genesis 3, I believe, or Genesis 2. But... Uh, But it's time, 2023, it's time for the woman. You know, uh, women now are, are a lot wiser. It's Mother's Day, this Sunday, the 5th of May. Uh, every uh, universal Christians, the Catholic faith by St. Peter, they... Um, I understand why the Vatican is there because St. Peter and St. Paul went to Rome. That's why they say that the uh, thing. But Mother Mary, she was a leader and she's recognized on the 5th of May, Virgen de Guadalupe, 5th of May, the indigenous woman of the Americas. And so there's a Virgen de Guadalupe church in Wisconsin and a lot of uh, Nahuat Utua seconds believe that the uh, Atslan is in Wisconsin. It's in the Rock Lake. And a lot of the, you know, even the Mormons have the story about mound builders. And and the Atslan civilization is in, and the Turtle Island is in that Wisconsin area. Utah, Wisconsin, you know, Utah, Wisconsin, area, you know, that whole area. Because from the land of creation, from Mu, after the flood, they all went to to go back and rebuild on the Turtle Island. Turtle Island is the Americas or, or what is today Americas. But Berrín de Guadalupe is known for that on Cinco de Mayo. 
And also, Cinco de Mayo is the Chicano Day, recognizing Cesar Chavez and Larry for the break rooms. The break rooms and the restroom, uh, break restrooms. All right, so Friday, woo, uh, I'm talking one hour. Uh, I'm doing this uh, political character, Professor Benjamin Washington, uh, until, uh, you know, Biden and Kamala Harris, Biden ran because he knew that he could pull many white people to vote for him, Biden, white men also, because he knew that if he didn't uh, run as a white man, the white man like Trump and his supporters that are uh, pro-Confederate flag, uh, like the Proud Boys and the white supremacists, they're going to win. That's how, again, that if you read up the history, the biography of, uh, of Abe Lincoln, it has the same mirroring effect. And then Andrew Johnson took over right after. Same thing when John F. Kennedy, the first Catholic president, when he was assassinated, Lyndon Johnson, Lyndon B. Johnson took over. Can you believe that? Two Johnsons took over after two assassinations. Doesn't that tell you anything? Huh? Isn't there politic political uh, problem here? I'm just looking at information that I gather online these days. You know, you can grab information, whether it's true or not. Matthew 7, 7, you have to seek, knock, you know, find, search, right? That's Matthew 7, 7, seek until, until you find, until you find a solution. Or the holy angels, the historians up, north, up, up there, the heavenly tablets, we all have history up there, our spirit. In the library of heaven, we already have a tablet set up for us. When we're born here, there's always a data collection over there. You know, like the DNA, our own DNA can store a gabillion storage memory information, right? Our own DNA. Imagine heavenly archives of our spirited. Right? If you're not a spirited person, if you're not a spiritual person, that means if you don't believe, you know, like Darwin, that was a problem. Darwin in the 1850s, they were atheists or they were they didn't believe in, um, you know, they believed that the people of color were descendants of monkeys, you know. Today, the, oh, the DNA of monkeys is totally different from the DNA of a man. You know, the DNA numbers, the amount of genes. Yeah, because today science can prove that we're all created from a creator. But if you don't believe in the scriptures and if you don't believe in the spirit world, you know, heavenly spirit, you know, that's the thing. There's only, it's only binary, one and zero. If you believe or don't believe. If you don't believe, or you're uh, uh, eh, 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 you're still gonna be there. You gotta believe. That's it. You either believe, you know. Moses said it. Are you with me or are you against me? Do you believe or not believe? That's it. There's no other choice. Are you a man or a woman? There's no other choice. They always come for that split second, you know, the, the decision, the transition to decide a yes or a no, you know, that decision, you know, well, big, a very big gap, you have a choice to vote yes or a no, you have that window. And there are people that want to be the window, you know, those are the transgenders, they want to be in the window, they want to be stuck in the window, and then they realize later on, when they've committed you know, like say if they were a male and then they want to be a female, and then when they've committed to being a female, they realize, oh my God, 
later on in their life. You know, be happy when you were birthed and you were baptized when you were born. You were given that orientation, that gender. With many bad programming, bad storytelling. And I brought up again the children, the CPS, women's families, the family gets, because again, white businessmen abuse women. And then we, the people of color, in the statistics are blamed for the acts of those white men, the majority. It, they increase the, the statistics that fathers are bad. And then so non-white parents, white, white fathers, they're in, in, included in the statistics that these white parents are abusive to their children. So child protection services, but they don't know anything about the culture of indigenous people and the value family. Until we have a voice, like social media, we have a voice now, you know, I mean, I'm online live as Professor Benjamin Washington. And again, E. Jean, sweet Caroline, I'm just joking. Poor Trump, five million bucks, that's, anyways, just keeps on lying. Why, uh, why, liar, liars, liars. I mean, what happened, you know, I mean, the, the COVID-19, one million people died. U.S. citizens, shouldn't you react to the source, what the source is? Shouldn't you dig in more into the source of why that virus happened, got created? One million of us died. I would, you know, I would pray to God. God. Matthew 7, 7, I need to search, seek, and find the truth. Because we don't want it to be repeated. You know, we want to know the truth, and we don't want it to be repeated. If another virus comes in, another devastating. But then Title 42 Number 42, Jackie Robinson, colored man, black man in the Major League Baseball, white Major League Baseball. Number 42. I don't know if you watched that movie, but the issue was race. They wouldn't let him in, but eventually they let him in. Major League Baseball. Same thing here, Title 42, what's going on in the South border. One million Americans died. We have a gap. We have a void in the United States. These people in the border, they're escaping what was caused before by the government and maybe have been the cause of the previous administrations or something that the U.S. did that's causing some problems in the South. And so they're escaping those corrupt places so be a good human being. Let them in. Fill the void, the one million. Sort out, you know, from your point of view. Allow the women and children. That's my point. Let the women and children, no question asked. Then the men, that's when you figure out if these are soldiers. Right? These abled men, starting from age 16. Okay, boys. Because in Central America, they had guerrillas that were 15, or maybe even as young as 13 year old guerrillas in Central America. So you gotta look at the men because they are potential troublemakers. That's it. But the women and the children, let them in. One million people passed from the COVID-19. So Title 42 was expired uh, yesterday or late and today. Be a human humanitarian, let them in. I mean, when Vietnam war ended or Saigon fell, let them all in, the, the ones that are pro-democracy. 
pro uh, First Amendment, you know, freedom of speech, freedom of re religion, you know. Ki hui kwan. Everything everywhere. Oscars, he won an Oscar. You know, short round from Indiana Jones movie. You know, and the Goonies. This little tiny Asian Vietnamese kid. He was part of the boat people. He was allowed in. Look, he won an Oscar at his later age. But, you know, in between, because of racism and Harvey Weinstein types, you know, uh, the cock blockers, these white executives in Hollywood, they wouldn't get put guys like Ki Wu Kwan, you know, little Asian dudes to become leading men. That's been the problem in Hollywood. They've never promoted uh, a little short leading man like Ki Wu Kwan or another... Uh, like I said, Ernie Roy Reisinger, they've been kind of like, there's a code, production code. Don't let these guys become Oscar winners. That's that's what they do. That's what Harvey Weinstein, and there are still people like Harvey Weinstein still there. They're the gatekeepers. They would have been playing uh, Larry at Leon. They would have been telling the Cesar Chavez, Larry at Leon story in Delano, California. They would have been the actress performing those stories. She said, now we got a problem with these all Mexican we uh, Cinco de Mayo flags waving here in Modesto. You know, and it looks bad. Americans look, what is that? That's a Mexican. What are they doing in this country? This is the United States. This, you know, this is an American flag. Why are they waving them just a Mexican flag? When they do that, they should wave the Filipino flag because it was a joint effort for labor rights, break room rights, for any employers to have for their employees. But when storytellers like Kei Hui Kwan are denied to tell those stories or not given lead roles to play Larry at Leong or the Asian, you know, Filipinos that were playing uh, their stories, that's what a lot of white America doesn't know about Larry at Leon. A lot of black America doesn't know about the Manila Galleon slave trade. So politically, we're, we're, you know, our votes are being counted. So we're picking, you know, we're picking uh, presidents that would help our community, people of color. But we were able to vote in 1870. Check out the, I go to this startup brewing company called 1870 Brewing on J Street, 9th and J Street, 911 J Street in uh, downtown Modesto. Check that brewery out. They sell uh, local made beer. It's women owned and um, mother, daughter, the mom is nice. The daughter said, yeah, you can call her my mom, too. So I call her mom. So she, they're, they're a good team. But 911 J Street, 1870 Brewery. I'm just saying, 1870, we people of color, we vote. And we will vote for a good, a good president that will protect our First Amendment as people of color. And Biden does that. Trump and the Proud Boys... Who knows? They're marching with the, you know, the tiki torch and marching, you know, all these white dudes. It's pretty scary. I mean, 2022, the movie Till, you know, when I watched it with a friend last year, 2022, it, it says, Lynching is abolished in 2022. I go, what? Lynching was just abolished in early 2022? You mean they were lynching us? Like George Floyd? And it was a right for non-people of color to do? Can you believe that? It's in the movie Till at the end credits. 
So a, a friend of mine, well, you know, he treated me because I, I go watch movies a lot, new movies. And I, I saw him over there on a Tuesday and we watched it together. Till, Emmett Till. It's about this young black kid from, from Chicago going to the South, visiting his relatives there. But then he just like whistled a nice uh, white girl or said a nice thing about, uh, about you know, she's beautiful. And he gets lynched, beat the crap out of him. That's lynching law just was abolished early 2022. But again, you've already get warnings from Trump that he's gonna, he's gonna, all those uh, January 6th, people that attacked the Capitol, he's gonna give them a, you know, I don't know, I mean, I guess maybe, but Ulysses is Grant, Abe Lincoln actually, um, I don't know if that's what he wanted, but they killed him April, April uh, 1865, I don't know if forgiving the South was, was a good thing. So they, they killed him intentionally. Same thing with John F. Kennedy. They killed him intentionally. And Biden is the second Catholic president. You know, I'm a man of politics, Professor Benjamin Washington. Know your rights as a U.S. citizen. ConstitutionUS.com and all the, whatever the Congress has written about the duties of a U.S. citizen. Know your rights. Know your citizenship. Know your being born here, born and grown in the U.S. Know your rights. Especially people of color, know your rights. But still, they will, those people, those men that wore those white masks, those men that raised those tiki torch, they still exist. And they're still pro-slavery, slave labor. You know, corporate America, use and abuse U.S. citizens. The only way to fix that is to put a, a, a good president that's, for the people, by the people. And Emancipation Proclamation, I think we already had integration. We already had the vision of Abe Lincoln, but they killed him. We already had a vision of John F. Kennedy, but they killed him. And John F. Kennedy uh, was a Democrat, and that's why everything toggled from that point on. Right? Everything was democratic. The ones that are for the union, for Abe Lincoln, for the people. And they're not, you know, the Democrats are not raising the Confederate flags today. Unlike the Proud Boys and, and those men on the Tiki Torch, they are showing that confederate flag you know why do you want to divide why do you want to hate your brother john 13 love one another as i have loved you okay that's verse 33 to 35 right look it up john 13 love one another as i have loved you that is a jesus right for the believers for the non-believer read it and then 1 John 4, verse 20 and 21. How can you love Jesus and God, your Father, if you can't even love your brother that you see, your flesh and blood, red, white, and blue brothers? Don't say you love God when you can't even love your own U.S. citizen brother, fellow citizen, fellow American. That's 1 John 4, verse 22. You know, 
All I can say is 2023 to 2127, our job, we, the people of the United States, and me, Professor Benjamin Washington, and whoever else will play this character, Professor Benjamin Washington, because I'm, I'm just a created character. It's about giving the women a chance to be like the queen of Hawaii, queen of Maharlika, queen of the Pacific Kingdom, the land of creation, Southeast Asia, where originally it was Aetas. Look up Aeta, black people, black pygmies. They were the first people, dark skin, red dirt, Adam was created on red dirt, dark dirt, red soil. The Garden of Eden is in near the Come Again Island. Come Again Island. All right, it says Come Again. I believe in the Garden of Eden. I am a Garden of Eden minister. They call me Professor Benjamin Washington. Because that began everything. All right, so I got to close this, this. I went in the garden. I went in the entrance. Now I'm going to exit out of the entrance, right? To do that, we do what is called Philo. First in, last out, right? So I'm going to say the uh, U.S. Constitution preamble with the Star Spangled Banner lyrics together. We the people of the United States, see the flag here, flag. in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Oh, I'm going to sing it with the Star Spangled Banner. Let me get my guitar. <clears throat> we, we, the, we the people. The United States in all the two form I'm a perfect union establish justice in your domestic tranquility provide for the common defense. Promote the general welfare, secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this constitution for the United States. Of America, oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we won were so gallantly speaking and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that song spangled 
Bandoyan way For the land of the free And the home of the brave Yeah, Acts 2, Acts chapter 2 The book of Acts Pentecost. The Acts of the Apostles, May 28th, is the book of Acts. Alright? It's 50 days after uh, the resurrection. They call it AD after death, but it's after Yahushua's resurrection. AR. And the Pentecost, 50 days. The tongues like of fire. That's my upcoming album under the name Email. Uh, and uh, that's in my second album. I've been working on it, re 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 redoing it. Um, hmm. What else should I do? Because that's already done. I mean, we closed it. But uh, I want to share, yeah, speaking of album, this is a uh, extra pointer. You know, the, the Library of Congress or copyright.gov, you know, copyright.gov, Library of Congress, you know, you, you, you work on albums and uh, kind of like a pre, a pre, release my poetry or written works and I did this one original song called uh I'll take my professor Benjamin Washington glasses out because uh professor Benjamin Washington is a uh, is a professor not a uh singer songwriter so I uh, I'm sharing the song from the fourth album um, the fourth album copyrighted 2023 e Live all rights reserve form TX 5784839 nine. I'm, I'm giving this number here. This I don't know if you see it. TX. TX. Anyways, it's copyrighted. Library of Congress. And you know, gotta be careful because you know, like Ed Sheeran just got his uh, verdict. For being accused, he's being accused as uh, taking a Marvin Gaye song. This is just an uh, extra point. Hello, James. Yeah, again, Ed Sheeran was uh, 
pursued by Marvin Gaye's people. What a song that he composed that sounds so much like Marvin Gaye's song. But the only difference was the uh, musical notes, that they were not compatible one for one. So Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran, <coughs> excuse me, Ed Sheeran won his case. And Trump lost his case. Anyway, so uh, this song, the lyrics of the song is very, uh, it's uh, re requesting consent. Unlike uh, Trump's un uh, unconsented uh, advances to the opposite sex. Copyright at 2023, E.T.L.I. All rights are served. to come to me this California girl For me too movement, gotta watch out. Yeah. I know you get tempted. But you gotta have that consent now, alright? You can see uh, Harvey Weinstein got in trouble. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty strong now, especially when a former president gets into trouble with E. Jean, she's not my lover, sweet Caroline, E. Jean Carol got him into trouble, even if angels scream from hell. approach this on my own thinking that woman could be mine alright she will have to come to me yeah I'm just talking about following up and all the gentlemen that are watching this I mean even Arnold Schwarzenegger did it with his maid and a, a son from that maid you know temptations you men out there that are married or you know you're bound to be like Abraham himself Abraham or even Moses, they all had two or more women. Solomon had many women, right? So if you want to learn about managing women, it's in the book of Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. But I believe also women, like the queen of Hawaii, even the woman at the well had seven husbands. So women can have many partners as long as you don't create a friction. You don't hate. You you learn to manage it. And then you 
Go to Jesus if you you feel it's a sin. And you can't cleanse your sin no more. Right? Sin no more. That's what he said to Mary Magdalena, the prostitute. But I know that Trump didn't win that case because of Harvey Weinstein's case. Me Too movement. And there's still more like that. But me, I'm a man and I'm always in battle as a spirited man and a carnal man. But Romans 8 gives you the guidance to be a stronger spirited man. The book of Romans, right? And I, oh yeah, I want to share the timeline between, you know, Southeast Asia cultures between religion. Okay, Southeast Asia, India, people of color, you know, Philippines, Thailand. Okay, you heard of the book of Enoch, Ethiopia, scripture, right? Before the Roman Catholic only made 66 books, the Ethiopian Bible has the book of Enoch. Okay, Enoch is in parallel to the the Hindu Vedic. Okay, the the Hindi. There, the God used to come and see men like Enoch, men like Adam. God would directly communicate to these men, directly God. To these men. So the Enoch time frame and the uh, Hindi time frame and whatever the Mesopotamian Babylonian time frame, God would directly communicate to these men. It's in the Old Testament. That was the way of God to talk directly to men of God prophets but they disobeyed they still have that disobedience gene that Eve started which is these men would serve Baal okay in the Old Testament same thing in in Bombay or India you know because that's where Hindi began, but it was actually Philippines, Philippines, and because there's the Hindis, are, the Indians came from the Philippines, the Chinese came from the Philippines, everybody came from the Philippines, because the Philippines is the land of creation. So in that time frame, but the boat Noah's boat came from the Philippines and it landed in Himalayas. And they settled that area, and Ur and Abraham, that's where the descendants of Abraham uh, and his brother, or uh, his uncle Sai, or Joktan, because the two brothers, Eber's two sons, okay, Eber, Hebrew, they, they, the, the descendants of Noah, Eber is a descendant. Of Noah and Eber had two sons and the line of Abraham to David Moses David is from the Peleg okay one of the sons of Eber or Eber right this was during Nimrod's time Nimrod the Tower of Babel right that's after the boat landed in the Himalayas or they call it wherever the the Adam's uh, I mean, Noah's boat. But people don't believe that. Me, I've just been reading that. What do you call it? But men like Enoch, uh, you know, witnessed and interacted with the Nephilim or the fallen angels. Enoch. And prior to him, there were, you know, other men before him, before Enoch. All right, 
but they directly talk to God. So the Hindu and then the Buddha, okay? The Buddha was another throne type person, king type uh, royal family that he totally let go of everything, the materialistic things and accepted the spiritual chakra, right? So Hindu, Enoch, the time frame of uh, fallen angels. But after the flood, after Noah, men were building boats the way Noah built a boat, right? And the boats were from where they came from, Himalayas, all the descendants, the table of nations. These are all in Genesis 10, all these table of nations until the Tower of Babel, until the division of language. Genesis 9, 11, I believe, or 11, 9. But the two brothers, Joktan and Peleg, went, Joktan went back to the Garden of Eden and Peleg stayed in the Middle East area. And that's where Jesus was born in Bethlehem. But Joktan Right, so I'm just saying that if you are a believer in the timeline that the Hindi and the Enoch, that time frame was their time frame. You know, the, uh, the uh, Babylonian time frame, you know, the, the time frame of when archangels still interacted with humans, with and God directly came on earth. They, it is described in the Vedics, you know, the Bhagavad Gita, the Hindi beliefs. And then there are different angels that collaborated up and, you know, and, and they were called gods or, or archangels in that time frame. Right? So the Greeks... They had, you know, Greeks and Romans that the uh, Nephilims like Hercules. Hercules was a ne Nephilim, uh, half God, half man, right? These fallen angels mated with earth women. So that's why you have those mythologies of Greeks and Romans, and you have the the Mesopotamia, Babylonian. Um, Nephilims, the same thing with, you know, other cultures like India. But then this Buddha, Bhagav uh, Siddhartha, he has another name, but he started this human, human spirituality from within your chakras, your spirituality inside you all the way to your nirvana. And so many followed that, that, that manly faith. But the lower chakras, like for women, when, when they, they are like in Japanese culture or, or uh, when the women are, uh, Defined as servants or prostitutes, you know, just to make men ha to satisfy men. You know, basically, uh, what what the Buddha Buddhist men made women Buddhist women do, basically, just you know. I mean, prostitutes would have multiple sex with multiple guys, many different guys, and vice versa. But it's the body, you know, this part of your chakra. 
But in Jesus' time, there was no healing for women in the Buddhas in that situation when they they are uh, basically get abuse in their vagina, misuse of their, you know, or the the men get cut. They're they're they become what do you call those? Their their penis is cut because they have to guard the uh, the harem. Uh, there's a word for it I can't think of right now, but they uh, they uh, you know men uh, cannot have intercourse with with a bunch of women in a harem because they're just guarding you know they they're just guarding they can't sex with, have sex with the princess or the queen because kings would do that to these guards these type of men Enoch eunuch eunuch don't mess it with Enoch and eunuch the okay, eunuchs eunuchs men eunuchs were not you know they're designed same thing with women they're designed you know to be geishas in the Japanese culture but so these these uh, faith or cultures from Bhagavad Gita Hindi to the uh, the gods of Olympia to the the gods you know the uh, pagan gods they call them they call you know but in, in scripture they're Nephilim they're descendants of the fallen angels that's in scripture so. That's the phase, okay? There are people that still believe in that time frame of when angels and, and God would still visit earth, would still interact with man, to phase two when it was just the sons of gods or the Nephilim, you know, the half God, you know, like, like Hercules, you know, half man, half angel and then it became a requirement that because of the sins of people like women buddha because women are abused in the buddha uh, tradition women have to be geishas you know they're set to be in that style of life become like Mary Magdalena, you know, Mary, Mary Magdalene was a prostitute. So Gisha women are the same. They were, they were like, no rights. They were just the oldest business in the world. Men would use them, you know, pimp men would, and then they still happen. Pimp men still pimp women, and it still happened. Believe it or not, today they they take girls and grow them, and and they become their you know, prostitutes. In the Westerns, you know, like you watch Gunsmoke or cowboy movies, you see the women, they, they uh, brothels, but they don't have to cleanse their sin until Jesus came. Yahusha Jesus, until he, he spoke to the woman at the well, and, and, until he showed Mary Magdalena not to sin no more and so today that's what I say to many women that I meet even the other guys you know you we're all prostitutes and we fight our flesh and spirit we internally we're we're spiritual men but the carnal men the flesh of the flesh our body, it still dominates ourselves until we die and become ghosts. So once we want, once we're a ghost, we have a choice, right? To see the little light, you know. <laughs> if we're, you know, spirited, good spirited men, right? I mean, I'm sure you've seen uh, Ghost Whisperer or that old movie, Ghosts with. Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore. I'm just saying that the afterlife, they call it in the Catholic Church purgatory, 
But in the book of Enoch, it says all souls are in these chambers, you know, the, these bins, these, uh, what do you call it? So until Elohim, God, and the Son, who said Jesus returns, and it's predicted 100 years from now, he's coming, second coming, one, you know, according to the book of Daniel. But, you know, people are still, you know, Matthew 7, 7, you know, seek, search, you know, you just got to read and be uh, like Professor Benjamin Washington. Okay, this is over time. I already finished my show. I just wanted to share that song. Uh, she will have to come to me because women today, because of Me Too, has, has even gotten stronger with consent. But it should be also the same. You know, men get harassed too by other gay men. Gay men harass men and boys. And also there are strong women that, you know, or, or uh, cougar women that have sex with their students. You know, a 60-year-old. <laughs> Saturday Night Live did a skit on that. I was busting up. Anyways, that for men, it, it's it's really a, a a good thing if a, a cougar, even if you're a minor under 18, if you have experienced an adult woman taking advantage of you, I think uh, you're a stud. But that's that's the old that's before Harvey Weinstein. Today, after Harvey Weinstein. Being in prison, you need consent. That's all I can say. Tell your sons, nephews, you know, yourself, and ask the girl for consent. You always say, hey, do you consent? That's it. Do you consent? I'm asking you, do you consent? That's it. Because if, if they don't consent, you're going to get into trouble now with women in the past. E. Jean... Carol, she's a writer. You gotta watch out for these very smart women, writers. Don't be a Trump. Don't Trump. Don't be a Trump to women like E. Jean Carroll, because she claims that she's not. <laughs> he's not the one. I'm just kidding. All right. Again, thank you. For watching and sticking. Hey, so yeah, yeah. Hello, Irene. Consent. Uh, I gotta go. Um, I gotta go make dinner for my mom. It's already passed. Well, I made I made dinner already. It's just she had a late lunch and she wasn't hungry during dinner. But I do this. Um, Instagram live here on this side and Facebook live on this side because on my Friday nights because I can't go out. I got to accompany my elderly mom. She needs me on call. But yeah, watch, watch and rewind this. Watch my other uh, Facebook lives from the previous. You can check them on my, uh, also my YouTube channel. There's, you go to the playlist six section to Kaya underscore L Stan. One last thing. Songwriters, songwriters, local songwriters. I need dance songs. Whatever genre, country, rock, I need dance songs from local songwriters. I am pre producing, planning a TV show, a pilot. While I'm, 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 the way I'm here, situation at home with my elderly mom, I am writing a business plan, a project plan, a TV show pilot here in Modesto. So I'm going to produce, I, we're going to need eight episodes. I'm going to start with eight episodes. Each episode is going to be one hour, but each, that one hour divided into four parts, a multi-genre, multi-music genre dance show. 
divided, yeah, 60 minutes divided by four parts or whatever is good to put a, a commercial in, in between. But it's going to be a, a one hour episode and the goal is to make eight episodes and it's going to be produced here in Modesto, Stanislaus County. And it, it's going to be filmed at any venue that uh, will give us the privilege to shoot an hour episode live at their venue. All right? That's it. I, it's business. So if you want to join this business, uh, business planning, it's going to be a limited library corporation. It's going to be a dance show. It's going to be a business project. It's for business. It's for profit. All right? Again, it's just planning while I'm I'm uh, not free with my elderly mom, but it will be executed. Uh, submit to my PO box your release or your consent, right? Consent for the dance show. Write to E C E L I Acoustics, PO box two five six two, Series California. 95307. I will update the caption on this with that address to where to submit your audio CD if you're a if you're a songwriter of a dance uh, danceable song. Okay, it has to be a danceable song unless you have a DJ that can mix it to make it danceable. All right, but an original song made in Modesto or Stanislaus County. All right. Not in L.A., not in New York. It has to be made in here in San Jose County. Right? If I have enough one hour worth of playlist, those songs will be the rotation for that dance show. <clears throat> of course, we're going to have a lot of dancers. All right. I got to go. Thank you. And uh, God bless everyone. Psalm 91 and Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Take care and God bless and happy Mother's Day weekend. Love your mom and uh, forgive and love. And Mother Mary is my spiritual mom, Mother Mary, my spiritual mother and my biological mother. Whatever she does, I forgive her, but I love her. Because without her, I would not be created as a biological individual. So this month and further on, uplift your women, the women in our USA culture. Uplift the women, especially in politics. Vote for women candidates. If at all possible, let there be a USA president in 2024 that is a female USA president. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying to say goodbye, but adios.